Hi, I'm Dr. Lorenzo Cervantes. I serve as a member of the Board of Directors and as a Medical Director for Eversight since 2016. On August 4th, 2021, Eversight sponsored a DMEC course to the Philippine Cornea Society. There were 85 participants logged in, which was incredible because uh, here in the United States in Eastern Standard Time, we're giving this talk at eight o'clock at night. But in the Philippines, it's eight o'clock in the morning on a Thursday where all these cornea specialists have logged in and they're getting ready to start their day. They're, they have patients waiting in their clinic, but they took the time out of their day to show up and learn about DMEC. The session was moderated by Dr. Anthony Aldave. The instructors included me, Dr. Christopher Salas uh, from the University of Iowa, Dr. Elmer Tu, who serves on the Medical Advisory Board of Eversight uh, from the University of Illinois in Chicago, and Eric Hellier, the Director of Global Development, uh, who helped spearhead this uh, educational session. In this educational session, we went over what DMEC is, why it's performed, what benefits DMEC has over other forms of cornea transplantation, how to prepare DMEC tissue. Educational opportunities like this really matter, especially in regions like the Philippines. Corneal blindness is the fourth leading cause of blindness globally, especially in places like Asia and Africa where its incidence is highest. It's estimated that five to 10 million people around the world need cornea transplants each year but only less than 200,000 are getting it done. In the Philippines, they're doing 500 to 800 cornea transplants a year. That's no small feat for a group of that size. So I was born in the Philippines, but I immigrated with my family to the United States when I was only four months old. And since then, I've only been back to the Philippines once when I was 16. So you can say I really don't have any memories of the Philippines when I was little. When the pandemic shut everything down in 2020, it also shut down surgeon educational sessions. Specifically, the DMEC training sessions that Eversight was organizing for surgeons interested in learning this procedure. Fortunately, through solutions like Zoom and the virtual wet labs that Eversight innovated successfully, we were able to educate more surgeons than ever before, like all the cornea fellows in the country and surgeons as far away as Malaysia. With this success in mind, Dr. Salas and I pitched to Eversight a specific educational program to the Philippine Cornea Society as a way of reconnecting with our heritage, as a way of collaborating with Eversight to spread innovation to a group of like-minded cornea surgeons, as a way of giving back. Educational opportunities like this matter for the future of ophthalmology in the United States and abroad because it helps promote innovation. It helps other surgeons help other people. It helps promote collaboration with our peers on the other side of the world who we would have no other opportunity to sit in a room all together without the use of this type of technology. For example, despite offering pre-cut desect tissue for the treatment of corneal edema, we learned that in the Philippines, Full thickness cornea transplants or penetrating keratoplasties is still overwhelmingly the number one technique used for the treatment of that problem. Once we pointed out that DMEC tissue can be prepared much more cost efficiently with less complicated instrumentation necessary to prepare the tissue, we created a lot of interest. Here in the United States, DMEC tissue is most commonly donated by donors above the age of 50 and 60. It just makes for an easier surgery. We learned that in the Philippines, the average donor of, of corneal tissue is much younger, sadly, in their 20s and 30s. This creates challenges in not only processing DMEC tissue, but performing the surgery. However, this started the conversation of how can we overcome this problem? How can we implement DMEC and still utilize tissue from younger donors? And because of this conversation, the surgeons of the Philippine Cornea Society welcomed the chance to do a wet lab for a DMEC tissue preparation and DMEC surgery course. On behalf of the Philippine Cornea Society, Dr. Salas and myself, I'd like to thank all of you who support our mission to restore sight, 
and prevent blindness through the healing power of donation, transplantation, and research, and help Eversight make vision a reality. Thank you.